Well, hello there, and welcome back, as always, to my channel, here on I'm Kinda Sketchy. Before we go any farther, please take a moment to sub, like, and share to my channel with all your friends. Today, we are going to be drawing a mighty dragon. That's right, a dragon. A beast that is infamous with cruelty and evil and the very depths of hell and villainy. Now... I know, I know, there will be some of you who say, but Logan dragons are good, dragons are friendly, dragons are fuzzy and warm. The Asian dragons are symbols of divinity and love and such. And you're right, but that is not the dragon archetype that I am talking about today. The Asian dragons are in their own class, I'll grant you that. And while the fuzzy, warm, happy, feeling dragons like Elliot and Draco and the cowardly dragon and countless other dragons that have graced the children's books for the last hundred years or so, and they are a modern look at dragons, and as, you know, and they're good in their own right, but, you know, even He-Man had a good dragon in the castle. But the classic dragon from ancient Europe, and European sources, northern and such, you know, they depict dragons as hordish, firing, devilish creatures. Even the Bible had mention of dragons in its mythology, over 21 times in the Old Testament alone. And Satan himself is even referred to as a dragon or a serpent. And I personally have always seen dragons as a vile and yet mighty villain worthy of knights. From chivalric tales of King Arthurian legends to fireworms and dragon hoarding scoundrels. So that is how I use dragons in my stories and drawings. The hero always goes out to vanquish the evil dragon and frees the city or gets the gold to rescue the captive princess. And they always live in the most ominous of caves or wrapped around the crumbling, spiraling towers of some cloud-shrouded castle with buried treasure deep in its bowels. But regardless of what your personal take on dragons is, you have to admit that they are truly stuff of great storytelling. No matter what corner of the world you come from, from the fireworms to the Komodo dragon, they have sparked curiosity in young minds for countless generations and centuries, as far back as ancient Roman times, or even earlier than that even. So, they have a clearly embedded their souls into the society consciousness, and are definitely here to stay. And you know what else is here to stay? Merchandise! That's right, I have a Redbubble account and you can buy my merchandise! I have shirts and pillows and clocks and water bottles and all kinds of things. Even some things as, as affordable as a lapel pin are available on my site and I'd love it if you click it and click the link below and check it out. When you buy my merch, you help support my channel. And I put only original pieces out there, sorry, no fan art and no Saturday morning cartoons. Because copyright, hashtag lawsuits, and whatever, right? So, so anyway, please, if you would be so kind as to support small artists and YouTubers, yes, even me, hint, hint, okay, I'll just let you be right now so that you can enjoy the rest of this video, and I'll catch up with you at the end.
Well now, we have come henceforth to the conclusion of yet another epic speed drawing video here on I'm Kinda Sketchy. And I hope you've enjoyed my videos, and please ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I put out new content. So, I'm your artist, Logan, and I'm Kinda Sketchy, and I'll catch you later.